literally select a tool like an axe so that way I don't accidentally replant something that I don't intend to. But yeah, I start on that outside. Um, although when I'm harvesting stuff, it doesn't really matter because it all grows. But when it comes to planting, I'll start on the left side and then I'll come back up and go around. So that way I leave the nine spots affected by the scarecrow last because they'll also be done first. And I don't want to have to wait. Um, there is an interesting method that you can use, which I think is what I am doing now with these, um, where you can plant like pumpkins, and you can see there's a huge difference between pumpkins, uh, just because it's a longer time, um, and it's the reduction is percentage based. Oh, we got the cabbage for the purple smoothie we needed. Uh, but basically, when those pumpkins grow, um, the bottom ones, what we'll do is we'll plant potatoes in their place and then eventually sunflowers before the rest of the pumpkins are grown. I'm betting that's what I'm about to do. All right, and here we can see that our pumpkins have grown. Um, I'll switch to the ax, harvest those, and yep, go to the uh, potatoes. So now you can see it's lined up with about enough for the potatoes and three minutes for the pumpkins. Um, and the potatoes will actually be done right before the pumpkins will. So we'll plant some uh, sunflower seeds after this. Okay, and now the potatoes and the pumpkins have grown. So we're just going to switch to our item to harvest, and we're going to harvest all of these. feels really weird to not have the sound of harvesting these. I'm so used to hearing that whoosh, 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 whoosh every time. All right, and uh, got to figure out what else to plant now. And we've got a lot of sunflower seeds left in stock, so I think we're just going to grind out some sunflower seeds for the rest of this. Go ahead and purchase some more seeds. Save for good measure. Hmm, I have no clue what I was originally saying here. <laughs> I was probably just saying that like I don't really like doing the whole pumpkins and then potatoes and sunflowers. I prefer to just kind of grind through um, one seed at a time. Because it's just too much to keep track of. I'm being honest with myself. We're going to switch the axe again so we don't accidentally plant a seed and disrupt the um, workflow that we've got going on. Got a bonus chest, sunflower seeds. And we actually got enough seeds back um, from the bonus chest. That it was just enough that we could not actually buy more sunflower seeds that round. That's all right. We'll go ahead and plant some more. With sunflower seeds, I try to plant the ones affected by the scarecrow last, so that way they end up coming up around the same time as all the others. Makes for a cleaner harvest. And I have no clue what I'm doing at this point. So I'm probably, if I'm just going to be harvesting sunflowers like this, I'm probably just going to speed up the video some at this point uh, until we get to something that is a little more interesting. Alright, so one thing that I did want to talk about, um, starting here, to slow things down a bit, 
um, is actually consuming the food. So you can see that we ate the food, we got XP over in the top left corner. I'm going to click on my profile and you can see there's a section called skills. So as we level up, we get different skills. Um, these are all associated with farming. And here we've got all the different categories. Um, I, I typically go with crops and cooking first um, because then you kind of get all the XP as quickly as possible, which helps level up in the late game. Um, same with animals. So I, I typically go like cooking or crops, then cooking, and then animals. Um, because it's just like immediately getting the, the bonus to the crops is so worth it just to be able to produce more meals. Then there's the extra XP from uh, leveling up cooking skills. And then you end up getting extra eggs um, from animal drops of chickens, which are good for making cakes, which are excellent for XP in the late game. Um, and then from there is really when I start worrying about, okay, well now let's increase our wooden and stone drops. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of pause there for a minute and uh, talk about that while we plant more sunflowers. All right, one last thing that I wanted to talk about, I guess, was uh, gold. <laughs> uh, so as we've been planting these sunflowers, you may have seen that I've gotten a little bit of gold. Uh, gold is a very valuable resource, and it can be used for a lot of things. Um, it can be used for expanding your farm, um, building buildings from the blacksmith, but also from uh, boosting items and uh, digital assets and blockchain. So here you can see... Um, here's one of the um, limited time like event uh, assets. Those typically require a lot of gold plus whatever the event uh, currency is during that time. And they all have a very interesting boost, um, extra cake XP, um, extra like an, a boost, extra corn. Um, these are not um, digital assets on the blockchain. Um, they're actually like native to the program. So you cannot purchase these on a uh, third-party website, but you can see that some of those also require gold. So just wanted to point out that um, gold is a very valuable resource in the game, um, but I wouldn't worry too much about it at the start of the game because it's the time's going to be better spent like building up your foundation, getting uh, your skills unlocked, and so forth. Um, creating financial sustainability. But yeah, let's uh, go back to harvesting these sunflowers and we'll be back in the next video.